वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 4.25 सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज़ गिवन दैट अ कपल ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड एम इज अप्लाइड टू अ स्क्वेयर बार ऑफ साइड ए फॉर ईच ऑफ द ओरिएंटेशन शोन डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम शेयरिंग मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस इन द करवेचर ऑफ बार सो वी हैव टू टाइप ऑफ ओरिएंटेशन ए इज दिस वन वाइल बी इज द ट्विस्टेड वन इन विच द मूमेंट इज अप्लाइड सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द आई विल राइट you have to find uh, you have to find marker you have to find the maximum stress and radius of curvature for each of the orientation each of orientation a and b so let's start with the solution so for orientation a orientation a you can see this figure so this the moment is about this is the axis there and moment is about this so it will cause to bend or it will bend like this clear it will bend like this so what we have to find the maximum stress and maximum stress you know that it is equal to m into c divided by i now from this orientation if i draw the cross section so it will be like this clear and you can see the dimension this is a and this is also a this is the axis clear so if this is a so c will be this one which is equal to a by 2 and moment of inertia i will be equal to we know that it is 1 over 12 bh cube so bh cube over 12 so here b is also a and h is also a so from here you will get i is equal to a into a cube divided by 12 which is i will become equal to a power 4 over 12 similarly c is also equal to a by 2 c is the distance from neutral axis to the top most so this is c and this is a by 2 so from here if i put the value sigma max is equal to m into c is a by 2 divided by i is a power 4 over 12 clear and we will get sigma max is equal to 6 times m over a cube because this 2 1 is 2 2 6 12 12 so 6 will go to the m and A one A will cut with this A. Here so A cube. So we will left with this sigma max. Now radius of curvature. Radius of curvature. We know that one over rho, which is curvature, is equal to m over e i. So we know that m is there. is also there and i is a power 4 over 12 so from here you will get one over curvature will become equal to 12 time m e m over e a 4 and from here you will get radius of curvature will equal to e a 4 over 12 m so this is the answer of second part now we'll go to the uh, part b in which you can see that this is the cross sectional area and this is the axis so i will draw it over here so for part b our cross section will be like this one it will be like this one let me draw it again so it will be
it will be like somewhat like this okay it is not correct but and this will be the axis clear so every dimension is a this is also a now you can see that we have divided it into two triangles this is triangle number one and this is triangle number two and this is the axis so we know that sigma max is equal to m into c divided by i we do not know here c we know that this is a this is a so if this is a right angle triangle if i draw it over here one portion so this is a this is a so this is 90 degree angle so by pythagoras theorem this side is let's say x so x square is equal to a square plus a square so it means 2 times a square is equal to x square so x will be equal to under root 2 a square which is equal to under root 2 times into a so this distance is under root 2a i means i will show you from this to this this distance is under root 2a now what will be the height if i uh, sorry let me undo it. If it okay so if again i draw it like this So this is the axis. So if what if this what is the length of this? Let this is y. So again from right angle triangle we know that this is a this distance this will be equal to under root two a over two and this is y. So we know that from Pythagoras theorem a square is equal to y square plus under root two a divide by 2 whole square and we are interested to find out this y so y square is equal to a square minus a square minus 2 here is 2 2 times a square over 4 so a square minus a square over 2 and if you take the LCM so this is 2a square minus a square this is a square over 2 that is equal to y square so from here we can see that y will be equal to under root a square over 2 which means a over under root 2 so this height from this to this height will be equal to a over under root 2 now what uh, will be the uh, moment of inertia of this triangle about this axis so let's say this is the axis so we know that moment of inertia for this will be equal to 1 over 12 base into height square height cube clear so 1 over 12 the base is 2 under root 2 a so i will write under root 2 a into height is this one clear so a over under root 2 whole cube so again if you solve it so you will get a is equal to a4 over 24 a4 over 24 this is for one triangle for one triangle for whole whole body this this will be i uh, let this was the initial this is the one so for one this is one one and for two i will be total moment of inertia will be equal to i1 plus i2 so a4 over 24 plus a4 over 24 will give you a4 plus a4 is equal to i again you can see that i will be equal to 2 a4 over 20, 24 so which means a4 over 12 so this is the value of i i will delete these things 
you know now these things okay what about c so c will be uh, this distance a over 2 again you can find the maximum stress which is equal to m into c c is a over under root 2 divided by i which is a 4 over 12 okay so when you simplify it so this maximum stress comes out to be 6 into under root 2 times m over a cube or you can say maximum stress comes out to be 8.49 times m over a cube so this is the maximum stress now we know that for radius of curvature we know that 1 over rho which is curvature is equal to m over ei clear so m is there e is there and i is you know that i was a 4 over 12 so if you further simplify it you will get 1 over rho will be equal to 12 m over e a 4 and radius of curvature will become equal to e a 4 or 12 m so this is your answer i hope you have enjoyed these videos and if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching